rapper and comedian Trooper Gidham, here to talk about his new album, among other things. So first off, tell us about your new album, Static. Ah, Static. I lost my voice for it. I intentionally lost my voice for it. Just to uh, have a different sound. Just to, just to make it have, give it a different vibe. Make the song sound a different way because I never lost my voice for a song before. So it, it, it was it was pretty cool to do that. Uh, something else that I did that I don't normally do for a project is I did like 30 songs. Just recorded 30 songs. And now I'm picking from the best of them. And that's not something that I normally do. Normally, everything that I make gets put on the album. Pretty much. You said you intentionally lost your voice. Like, what inspired you to intentionally do that? I wanted to... I wanted to have a different voice. I mean, a different sound for my voice. Because that was a sound that I never had... Because that was something that I never really had uh, had recorded before. That was a sound that never, you know, I never got to utilize, I guess. And it was something that I wanted to do, and I was like, "Yo, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my verse, my voice on purpose." So I just did like a mini concert. I just performed like fucking thirty songs back to back, loud as fuck, and just threw my voice out. Well, all right. What's yeah. going on with you right now outside of the music? Um, right now, outside of music, I quit smoking. Um, I'm not smoking cigarettes anymore. I'm uh, using a vape here and there to try to, you know. But I don't like the vape very much at all. So it's gonna be a lot easier to quit the vape than it is gonna than it is to to quit the cigarettes. Cause I'm not a big fan of the vapes. But I was going to ask you if you like the vape or not, but you answered the question. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the vape, so I think it'll be a lot easier to quit. Just like dipping, like if I was to use dip to quit, oh, it would be easier to quit with dip than it would be vaping. But so far, I'm good. I'm waking up. I don't care that I don't have a pack. I don't care if I go get a pack. I'm great. I'm over the hump. I'm actually... The worst of it is over, and I don't want to go back through it, so I'm not going back. Oh, well. <laughs> Proud of you, right? That's hard to do, I think, personally. Yeah, so, yeah. It, anyway. it's, it's hard to do. It's it's something, if you don't want to do it, you ain't going to do it. But it was it was something that I really wanted to do. It, it was like, it was something that I've been wanting to do for years. I've been telling myself I'm going to quit smoking, and I would never do it, and... Uh, it was like May 6th of this year, and I was just like, I'm done. I'm done. These things are worthless. I'm done wasting my money on them. They don't do nothing to me. I'm done. And, you know, it was bad. It was, uh, it, but it wasn't that bad. But <laughs> and then I, you're, you're over it now, like you say, the hump. So, yeah, you know. Yeah. But I recommend anybody, anybody that quit, that smokes cigarettes, I recommend anybody to quit. Or at least just try, cause I, I know I didn't. I smoked for years and I didn't even try to quit. You know, a lot of people don't even try. Just try. You ain't gotta quit, but just try. You never know. You never know. Your musical output has increased over the last few years, but you were always known for releasing a lot of music. Can you tell us what brought about your 2017-18 hiatus? Um, yeah, that was a, that was a weird part of my life because that was, you know, I started in 2007, so that was supposed to be like my 10 year anniversary. Like I thought, oh, my 10 years, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to put out more than I ever did. And it all started, I did this out. I was working on this project at the top of that year called Boombox and I did 14 records and they, it. The album wasn't booming, it was boring, so I scrapped it, and I just kept working it on, uh, I, I did like a new version of it, and I just kept working on it, nah, this ain't good enough, nah, this song ain't good enough, nah, this song ain't good enough, I kept second guessing myself, everything I made, I was in a second guessing myself stage, so, no albums came out in 2017, which, <clears throat> like you said, my musical output 
you know, 2014, I probably dropped, I know I dropped January, February, March, April, May, June, July, October, November, December, and I'm talking 20 songs per mixtape, like, really putting out music to not dropping shit for damn near two years. So, it was really just self-doubt and me not me not being confident in what I was putting out and, and everything that I was doing, I was just like, this ain't good enough, that ain't good enough. But that never stopped me from putting out trash before. And that's kind of what, what got me, you know, over the hump. But, but back, I finally got my creativity back. It slowly but surely, I, I got it back. And, uh... It, it it was just it was just a, a whole combination of things with life and second guessing yourself and just being burnt out and just I had made so many songs it was like what the fuck I'm gonna rap about now and it was just a lot of shit. So looking back, do you see your hiatus as a like a positive period for your career? I do because it it helped me reflect. A lot. It helped me. Uh, like if I would have just kept going and had that hiatus not happened, I probably would have just kept doing the same old bullshit. I probably wouldn't evolved. You know, any as an artist, I probably wouldn't have. You know, improved any and and. You know, Eminem. I don't know if, how closely you follow Eminem. But he had an interview where he said that he basically had to learn how to re-rap again. He had to learn how to rap again. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember watching it at the time when he posted that, thinking, man, how the fuck you learn how to rap again? But I actually had to learn how to rap again. I actually had to learn how to rap again. So, it, 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 it was it was a positive experience looking back because it... it it, I think it made me a better artist than than if I'd have just kept going the way that I was going. Evolution is a necessary part of being an artist. So, what are your musical plans moving forward? Uh, I want to do a rock album. I really want to uh -huh. do. Yeah, I really want to do a rock album. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Just, like, I want to experiment. You know, put other genres, mix other genres with rap. I want to do... That's, what's that? That sounds cool to me. But, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I really want to do a rock album or a rock EP. You know, you know um, I want to do the horrorcore stuff. Uh, I mean, I've made horrorcore already, but I want to make the horrorcore album Nameless Faceless. That's, you know, that's coming in October. And then I want to produce an entire, this is something, as long as I've been making music, I've never produced an album. I've never made every beat on an album. So my next project, Michael Jackson, uh, my next album is called Michael Jackson. I'm going to make every beat on it, every sound that you hear on the album, I put there. So that's, that's something I want to do, um, just, you know evolution different different types of shit that I've never done before shit that that can you know get the creative juices flowing in a way that they ain't flowed yet yeah and uh static drops this Friday that you're already plotting on your next album yeah um always plotting on the next one cause like man static static about to be new to y'all but it's old to me already I'm already thinking of the next one because I'm already done listening to these songs. Some of these songs have been done since March. Uh, the songs where I lost my voice were done in like early April. Um, so, you know, I've been sitting on some of these songs for a while. So, I mean, it's old to me, but it, it's new to y'all. So, I'm already, you know, working on the Michael Jackson album. I ain't recorded nothing yet, but I've been making beats and... And that I'm not much of a producer. I make beats, but um, I'm really getting on my producer tip lately. I've really been making beats a lot more, and I'm having fun making beats. It's it's great. So, looking forward to producing the whole album with that. Yeah, 
Michael Jackson shit. Uh, for those unfamiliar with you, when did you start rapping? Uh, I s- actually started rapping probably like eight or nine. I would take, you know how like songs would have, like they would play like the last 30 seconds of the song would be just like the beat playing. I would take that. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Like okay. the instrumental? Yeah. Like, at, like the last 30 seconds they would just let the beat play? Yeah. I yes. would, um... I would loop that, and I would just loop it over and over on a cassette until it was like two or three minutes long, and I would rap on that. But actually putting my music, recording my music online, 2007, I I sold my first album at school in late 2007, like October 2007, but I didn't really start putting my music on on the internet until 2008. And I don't really fuck with my music till like 2012. So like songs that came out in 2010 or 11, I don't really like them. The songs from 2012 and 13 and onward, I fuck with. But so technically, I would say 2007. And after all this time, what makes you still want to rap? What keeps you going? Um, I just love rap. I love the culture of hip-hop, and I want to influence the culture of hip-hop in some way, shape, or form. If I can just, you know, come up with a word that becomes a a, a part of hip-hop, or if I can come up with a sound or, or, or anything, like, I just I just want to affect the culture in a, in a positive way, and I want to be a part of the culture. I don't, I don't, you know... If this was some some shit that I just... So if I was some fly-by-night motherfucker, I'd have been gone five years ago. I would have stopped making music years ago. Uh, I've been doing this shit. I'm coming up on 15 years, and I don't plan on stopping. So, you know, I'm... I love hip-hop, and I'm probably never going to stop. So, you know, I do... I really do this shit for the culture. I do this shit... For the love of the art of hip hop, that's what I do this shit for. Especially now, evolving like I really want to, you know, not just make regular swag rap, nonsense rap. I want to actually make some thought provoking, fucking experimental shit. If rap doesn't work out for you, what do you think you're going to end up doing? Like, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to rap. I'm just going to rap. Still? Oh, cool. You're going to keep on trucking. I'm just going to keep on rapping. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. So your, your next album is titled Michael Jackson. Yeah, What is yeah. the reason behind that? Um, that was an idea I've been toying with for a while. I was like, man... I should name my next album Michael Jackson. I have trouble, like I identify as, I I, I identify as Michael Jackson. What the fuck? Uh, but no, the, the older I get, the more I identify with Michael Jackson. Like I cannot fucking sleep. Every night I'm like, God damn it, I'm like Michael Jackson. I can't sleep. I always had trouble sleeping. I feel like I never really grew up. Like Michael never really grew up. Um, you know, I feel like I, I, I got a type of love for music that, that Michael had that most people don't. I feel like, you know, and I'm, and I'm not using his name as a gimmick. I don't want no one to think that I'm using his name as a gimmick, uh, because, you know, Michael, his prime was before my time. James Brown, the prime was before my time. Prince, the prime was before my time. But Michael, Michael, I actually fucked with. Michael, I actually loved. And not even much more so his music, but just his love for music. And the way he went about creating music. So I want to make an album that Mike would be proud of. I want to make an album that, like I want to make an album how Michael would have made an album. I want to make an album that he would that he would be proud of, that he would 
be proud to have his name attached to. So this ain't no gimmick. This ain't no none of that. This is this is a tribute to Michael Jackson. Oh, nice. Uh, can you name your five top deceased rappers that you like? Top five deceased rappers? Deceased, yes. Uh, well, you know, we got to go with Biggie and Pac. I got to I gotta throw Soldier Slim on there. Um, Juice World And Lil Peep. Rest in peace, Lil Peep. You know Lil Peep? I don't know. I'd have to see like a picture or something, or hear a song for that matter. Man, Lil Peep. Now I gotta check it out so I can know yeah. what. Yeah, yeah, man, Lil Peep. If Lil Peep would have been had a few more years, he'd have took over. I swear. Oh well. Yeah. I'll check him out because I'm not gonna talk so highly. All right. Uh, name five rappers that you hate. Five rappers I hate. I fucking hate Meek Mill. He's a corny motherfucker. He's a corn dog. He's a corn ball. He's corn everything. He's corny. He's a bitch. He's a pussy. He's all that. Fuck Meek Mill. Motherfucker want to act gangster and put a restraining order on a 6 9 Okay. All right, Mr. Tough Guy. Um, Do you think he averages all your hate pent up for Meek uh, <laughs> Mill? All my hate's pent up for Meek Mill. I'm just joking. Do you have any other ones you don't really care for? Uh, look, the thing with Meek Mill is, I hate him as a as a person. His music right. is not that bad. Don't I don't want people to think, yo, I think he sucks as a rapper. I think he sucks as a person. He's a fucking corn dog. His music ain't that bad. You ain't gonna catch me riding around listening to Meek Mill. But I don't think he's that bad of a rapper. Now, versus someone like Lil Durk, Lil Durk, I don't mind as a person, but his music is trash. So, you could put Lil Durk on the list. Uh, you could put um, Famous Dex on the list. Fuck Famous Dex. You could put Playboy Cardi on the list. And fuck it, throw Future on the list. Fuck Future. He sucks to me. Oh, alright. Yeah. That was pretty easy for you to name them. Okay, yeah. what about your fuck? Y'all pulled Future out the ass. I wasn't even expecting to say him, but... It just kind of came out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, name he... your five favorite female rappers. Five favorite female rappers. Yeah. Mia X, No Limit. Um, Eve. Uh, Nicki Minaj, of course. Shit. Snow the Product. And I guess I gotta go Megan Thee Stallion. I was, <laughs> I was like, I was not going to say Megan's value, but no, I think she's actually really good too, so. Yeah, I fuck with her, bro. She go hard. Mm-hmm. She okay. be spitting. Do you have a favorite song off the new album? Like, do you have a, a favorite that you, like, your baby of the album? Or, that you just like the most? Or what, off or... Static? Yes. Yeah, I got a record called Lose My Voice. It's one of the ones where I lost my where I lost my voice for it. Uh, okay. Yeah, that bitch hard. Uh, so losing my voice is what you said, yeah. Yeah, it's called lose my voice or lost my voice. One of them. Lost my voice. Okay. Yeah, that 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 shit my favorite by far. I love it. Oh, but yeah, okay. it's well, it's a lot of dope records on there. Like like I said, I did. I, normally, I don't do like 30 songs. I know I know people, when they make albums, they make 25, 30 songs, and then they pick the 12, 15 best. Usually, when I do an album, I'll do 15, 20 songs, and 18 of them end up on there. I, I cut like two of them, maybe. 
most of my shit gets put out. But this one, and I wasn't even really trying to do it that way. I just kept recording and recording and recording. The songs just kept accumulating. And then eventually I ended up with so many songs. I was like, oh shit, album's done. Anything else that you're working on and uh, to go along with any of this, or is there any plans, or just kind of taking it how, how it comes, or whatever? Anything to look forward to for us listening? Um, you mean besides the album? Yeah, like um, do you do merch or something like that, or no? Oh or? no, no, ain't gonna be no merch probably. Um, just the album, really. Maybe some music videos. Um, but the album, and then we're gonna go straight into the Michael Jackson shit. So we're gonna we're gonna promote Static, and then we're gonna go straight into the Michael Jackson shit. I'm excited to see this Michael Jackson brainchild of yours. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited too. I'm uh, it's gonna be great. Goddamn thundering outside. Uh, yeah. What's that? Oh, you I heard? Said I heard like that's what that noise was. was yeah, about. that's what that was. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited for everyone to hear it. Um, this this is definitely my most um, ambitious creative endeavor that I've ever taken on, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm like, I I need something to really inspire me to to really do something, and this is gonna do it. Your catalyst. Yeah, this is gonna be. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna, this is gonna right. get it going. Is there anything else you wanna add to the to the mix before we? Uh, static drop May twenty seventh this Friday. That's about it. Anything you wanna add? Uh, no. I think that about wraps it up. And uh, yeah, where is the new album going to drop from? Uh, Are you gonna have like? It's gonna be on YouTube, SoundCloud, Audio Mac, uh, all of that. It ain't, it ain't gonna be on no, no iTunes. It ain't gonna be on no, no official okay, shit. So yeah, cause I steal all my beats. That's why I'm producing every. <laughs> that's why I'm producing everything on Michael Jackson, so I can put that bitch on Apple oh. Music. Oh, no, that's so good. Yeah. Oh, I make too many songs to pay for the beat. If one of them blow up, I'll break okay. I'll break you off if one of them bitches blow up. But other than that, no, nah, I make too many songs to be paying for every beat. Yeah, you're not the only one that does that. It's okay. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. <laughs> At least I don't fuck their beats up. Right, right, yeah. All right, well, I guess that's about it. So, um... 